Okay, so I put a uh, little valve on it, a 90, so I can measure how much uh, waste, quote unquote, wastewater there is. The cost of running this pump is uh, the water that comes out of the, the check valve here. It's really not that much. So let's see. I started at 30 seconds on my video clock here. I'll go 20 seconds. So I'll go to 50. So we can measure it. Okay, so that's call it half a gallon in 20 seconds times three. That's only a gallon and a half. There. That's a gallon and a half, right? Am I doing this right? Talking about on video makes it a little, the math a little harder. Half a gallon in 20 seconds is, um, there's three of those in a minute. So that's a gallon and a half in per minute. That's amazing, that's not much water. I was figuring there was at least five gallons a minute being, you know, quote unquote, wasted through this thing. Now, what I wanna measure is how much water is coming out the top, way up on the hill. And I'll go do that, and uh, we'll see the ratio. The better the ratio, the higher this is performing, the better the performance is. But that's the cost of basically having 12 PSI coming in and 40 to 45 PSI coming out. Still blows me away. This, by the way, is use number 127, maybe 129 for burlap bags as like padding. Um, everything from doormats to washing animals off to insulation to the original mulch uses around trees uh, is why we use burlap bags. They are amazing. We would have hundreds and hundreds less trees in this landscape if we never got a lot of free cycle scores on burlap bags from um oh what do we call it um coffee companies that's no longer available but we stocked up a whole bunch and uh it's allowed us to establish a lot of tree systems that we wouldn't have never been able to establish out the burlap because you can carry 20 trees worth of mulch to get grass down suppressed for one year, which is what a baby tree needs, in an arm load. 20 burlaps per arm load easily. You can't carry even one tree per year's worth of mulch in your arms to keep grass down, wood, wood chips. So you need a full on wheelbarrow of mulch basically almost per tree. And uh, so it helps a lot with the agroforestry, you know, food tree, establishment systems. All right. So, here we are, 90 feet above the other spot, way down there. Can't really see it, but there's a pond. That's where the water's coming from. It's going to the pond below. Here are these tanks, as you can see, they're just overflowing because I don't really need the water this time of year. They're all just daisy chained together. If you don't put them on a really level surface, you kind of have to like close the bottom one if you want them all to full to fill. I don't really care because right now, but if I was like, uh, you know, maybe in a drought, I'd want the last bit. So now that'll back up and fill this one and all the others. So let's see how much water is coming up this thing. Um, gonna be a little tricky because yeah, I'm gonna pull this apart right here. Um, let me see, I don't wanna stop the video cause I want it to be easier for me to make later on. So let's see. Oh, 
all this is going to drain out now. Come on, yeah. I'll hose clamp these together next year. I was just kind of mocking them up this year. <laughs> it's in there. I should have stopped the video, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna pull it apart because I'm stubborn. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, here we go. So, now, that's, can you see that? Let me clear this off. Okay. So, that is, there's soap because these had some soap in it and they weren't fully washed out. I'm gonna drain them all this year. Right now, I'm actually probably just gonna let this all drain. And then they'll be clean for next year. I'm gonna leave them empty for the winter so it doesn't freeze. Now, here is the line. This is what it looks like. This is what the ram, ram pump produces. It's this pulse, very like light, soft pulse. So I'm gonna put this up into a bucket so we can see how much water we get. Let's make this nice and even, level. And I'm gonna kind of get it to the uh, same, the height that we want it to be. It's a little hard while holding this. But what I wanna do is, okay. I wanna put it at the level it's gonna be at because then it'll be a more accurate measurement. And we'll put it over here. Okay, so 55, 56. I'm looking at the video clock to measure. Okay, so now it's an even minute. Okay. It's not gonna be perfectly accurate. Ac perfectly accurate, but it's gonna be close. So I start at four minutes on the video clock and I'll go 20 seconds. 10 seconds just might not be that accurate, so a little longer of a sample. Okay, 420. Okay. So, that's a little hard to measure, but I'm just going to guesstimate. This isn't a perfect cylinder. That's probably, I think it was a little less than half a gallon before, by the way, so it's probably like, let's say, 1.4, 1.3 to 1.4 gallons a minute being used. That's the quote-unquote wastewater that passes and I'm thinking right now, I could pour this into a smaller container and measure accurately. But I'm just going to say that's probably looks like about 12 ounces of water. And it looks like about... A tenth of a gallon. Which is about 12 ounces of water. A gallon's 128 ounces. So... You know, we're getting, yeah, maybe a tenth of a gallon a minute. Um, tenth of a gallon a minute of water for a gallon and a half is the cost, besides just the embodied energy and the equipment, the, the, the ram pump and the tubing. So, tenth of a gallon a minute to a gallon and a half, 15 times. So it's one, or maybe a ratio of one to 15. How much water you're getting to uh, how much you use up. That's, that's basically the cost of running, that, that is the cost of running a ramp pump. So not too bad if you have tons of water um, and slope. I mean, it's great if you have water and slope. What an amazing thing. Um, but that's the cost. So so maybe the ratio we're working with is like 1 to, fi one to 15. Anyone who has ramp pump experience, I would love to hear from you um, about that. Like, like, what do you think about that and um, or know about that? And um, what kind of ratios are other people working with? I'm thinking it's about 1 to 15. So 
and that's for a 20 foot fall with a 90 foot lift three quarter inches pipe coming up for the lift and one inch going down for the fall so those are the specs on that and there's 40 feet of pvc conduit um electrical conduit but in the last bit of the one inch line that's delivering the water to the ram pump the gravity feed line because someone told me that just makes it higher performance because the shock wave that comes out of it isn't the pipe the pvc the polyethylene pipe like stretches a little and that absorbs some energy and equals some some loss of efficiency if the whole thing was probably one inches of steel like maybe the efficiency would go up i don't know how much it would have to go up a lot to be worth it for me um because it's fine the way it is now one inch of steel the whole way it would be a lot more work and a lot more expensive a lot more energy to install so yeah i'd love to hear from you guys what kind of performance are you getting on your ram pumps i'm interested in making it higher performing although this is totally fine like if i never improve it beyond this i think this is great we have like 150 200,000 gallons of water 300,000 gallons of water in that pump pond that we're getting this from it's full even in the heart most hardcore droughts maybe it drops six inches in droughts we have yet to see you know i've seen it maybe not overflowing but basically not losing any level so we can easily afford to dump thousands upon thousands of gallons of water down through the ramp pump to get hundreds up to where we can gravity feed to our gardens and all of our pastures and seaberry orchard great trade-off um hope you're all well wait i just totally messed that up it was a tenth of a gallon that we had in the bucket talking on camera makes my brain not work as well so tenth of a gallon um that was only in 20 seconds that wasn't a minute so let's say it's more like um tenth of gallon 20 seconds so it's like a third of a gallon a minute right would that be right tell me if my math is right but i think about that right i mean three times it's three times that amount of water um so that's not too bad so that's not a 1 to 15 ratio take i take that back it's better than that a lot better it's a third i'm getting a third a gallon a minute for a gallon a little less than a gallon and a half a minute use of water so that's more like um Oh, wait, were my ratios right? I might have to use a calculator for this. I suck at maths. You guys can figure it out. But basically, a third of a gallon a minute for the cost of, let's say, a gallon and a half a minute. It's a little less than that. Um, fractions. Tricky. Not really. But <laughs> I'm not. I'm thinking about a lot of other things, so I can't really figure that out um, right now. But... If it was half a gallon a minute, that would only that would be a one to three ratio. So if it's half of a half, that'd be a quarter gallon a minute. That'd be a one to six ratio. So it's about a one to five ratio, not a one to fifteen. That's not bad. 